Hi, I'm Sam Cunnington, Global Product Manager here at Ambu, working across our anesthesia product portfolio. And today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the pressure limiting or pop-off valve included in our Spur2 resuscitator. Each Spur2 device comes equipped with a pressure limiting valve system, also known as a pop-off valve. The purpose of this valve system is to prevent the delivery of excessive pressures to the patient. Higher than suitable pressures have the potential to cause barotrauma, which is hazardous and must always be avoided. On the Spur2, the pressure limiting valve system is designed to activate at a pressure of 40 centimeters of water. When the pressure reaches this level, the valve opens, relieving the pressure within the system. An override clip is included, which can be engaged to prevent the activation of the pressure limiting valve. And this can be used in cases where higher ventilation pressures are required in order to achieve suitable ventilation. Prior to using the Spur2, a pre-use check of the pressure limiting valve is required. So to check the functionality of the valve system, simply engage the override cap to prevent the pressure limiting valve from activating. Next, block the patient connector and attempt to squeeze the compressible bag. Resistance should be felt as the bag is compressed. Next, disengage the override clip and repeat the process. This time, the valve should activate, allowing for the air within the resuscitator to escape. Squeeze and release the product several times to ensure suitable functionality of the valve system and listen for the audible feedback of the valve disc releasing. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about the Spur2 resuscitator, please do contact your local AMBU representative or visit the Spur2 Resuscitator webpage.